Hey, this is Brian Bassett for a very special Friday edition of Jets Translations coming off the 13-10 loss to the New England Patriots. First up, fight! Nick Mangold talks about Bill Belichick's rather salty reaction uh, for his play that knocked Aqib Tlaib out of bounds at the end of the game. Watch this. He got heated about it. Um, I was a little surprised by that. Um, I figured he'd have a little bit more poise. Translation, Bill Belichick is a spiteful f uh, I mean, really, what are we going to say about Bill Belichick that no one doesn't already know? Uh, he was screaming up and down on the sidelines. Meanwhile, prior to that, his player, Aqib Tlaib, is jumping around trying to go for the touchdown in a game that was well out of reach, uh, you know, at that point, just with time left and all that sort of thing. So Mengel tries to make a play, and he's a big dude, and Aqib Tlaib is a little dude, and what happens, happens. And that's what happens when you don't coach your guys to, to do what he should have done, which is go down. Um, up next, uh, we've got Willie Colon talking about going to, uh, to protect his bro. Watch this. Yeah, I saw Nick in there. Um, there's a lot of guys around him. I was trying to go run for my brother. So that's why I reacted the way I reacted. Translation, don't mess with my family. You know, I mean, certainly the Jets lost. That's the real story. But the fight is what everybody's been talking about. And are these guys going to get suspended or, or whatever? But you have to love that even though he was frustrated and mad and just frustrated with the way the team played, and that's what he said there to kind of start the answer, um, he went and was trying to protect his guy. I mean, they're offensive linemen. That's what he do. And that, that guy is a real leader. And so you have to respect um, a guy, a veteran guy coming in like that and taking an active role in a dicey situation. Um, talking about dicey situations, uh, Clyde Gates explains some of uh, what went into his brain during this loss. Watch this. Probably just lack of concentration. That's all I can say. I mean, but overall it was a drop. So, I mean... There's no excuses. Just got to make those plays. Translation, paging Braylon Edwards. I mean, I, you know, I like Clyde Gates. I think he's he had a good summer. He had a good training camp. We saw a lot of good things of him in the preseason. He just needs to make that translation huh, onto the field from what we saw this summer. Uh, because if he doesn't, you know, there are veteran free agents who are out there who might be better able to help this team. And certainly Jeremy Curley not being in that game put a lot more onus on a guy like Clyde Gates. And, you know, he just wasn't ready to, to step up uh, in that way. And, you know, t speaking of stepping up, here's D. Milner. Uh, well, excuse me, Rex Ryan talking about D. Milner and pulling him from the game uh, to watch some of his pl other players play. As I told him, I said, you know, D., I want you to sit on the side. I want you to watch. And sometimes when you do that, it's the best thing for you. And so uh, we replaced him with Kyle and, and uh, Walls, and, and that's what we did. Translation, I'm going to send you to school. You're going to take two classes. First classes, don't do what Kyle Wilson does. The second classes, do do what Darren Walls does. And so I think putting Milner on the sideline, letting him watch a little. He was clearly in a little over his head against a guy like Tom Brady, and that seemed to be the best thing. And I really like what we saw from Darren Walls. I think he's going to be a player who's going to challenge for more time as the season goes on. Meanwhile, D. Milner needs to turn his head around, and he, not, he needs to not learn from Kyle Wilson in that regard. Either way, this is going to wrap up tra Jets Translations for this week. We will see you back in about 10 days uh, after the Jets take on the Buffalo Bills. Thanks. Stay tuned.